everyone and today you are watching vids for kids and also we are playing the hello neighbor 2 beta now i'm really excited to check this game out again because we checked it out last time but that was quite a while ago now we're back to it huh instant jump scare it's not really a jump scare i guess it's more of just getting caught but yeah you still get caught so i'd count it well I'm just going around to see if there's anything new since the time I've been playing. So let's see if anything's different. The police car was always there. And that poster was always there. Huh, missing. I know there it says simming, but that's not an actual word, so yeah. What's this? Is this where I found that crowbar? What is that thumb holding in my shadow? Oh, wait, was that always there? I, oh, I'm throwing everything. There we go. Oh, there's no way to like go through your items. You have to just pick them up and then and then throw them down again. And so far, graphics-wise, I would say this game is better, but puzzle-wise, the first game is better, definitely. Oh, how did he jump scare me from there? That doesn't make sense. Oh, let me in. The bird didn't jump scare me. Hmm. There's not really much here. There's a path. I'll go on it. Oh, I have to go up here. The music got so much creepier there. Oh, how do I climb up by accident? Let's go through here. Oh, does the key not work? Here's my key. There we go. Now, wait, what? Is there a button I can use to equip the key or am I already holding it? I can't tell. Ooh, that key there is not the same as this one. They're different. The key that I have looks like a pretzel on the back, and that key does not. I don't know what it really looks like, I can't describe it, but it does look like something. Why is this door locked though? There has to be a way to get through. Hmm. Huh. This game's a lot more realistic than the first game. I still don't know what I could do for the for the key because it's not working the way it's meant to. Maybe it's just a glitch and it'll work later. I don't know. 
Oh, a door. Can I open it? Nope. Nope. That didn't work. roof now am I meant to be up here I don't think I am this looks a bit like the house from hello neighbor act 3 in the first game but only a tiny bit There's a ladder here, never even noticed. Can I go up game? Thanks. What the? This forced me back up. Huh. I wonder if I can go down there. Nope. confused okay how am I meant to get under that that's just not fair maybe I can cross these wires I don't know if it'll work nope I didn't die from the fall. What? I'm sure that I would die from that. I can skip here, but I don't want to go too far because then the bird might jump scare me. And I don't want that to happen. Oh, I'm just right here. Huh. This is not easy to figure out. This is really risky. I'm on the edge of that right now. The literal edge. Hmm. How am I meant to do this? Oh, there's a pile of things down here. The bird's gonna jump scare me at any moment. I know it. Because at this point right here, I don't know how much further I can go. So the bird could get me at any moment. Huh. And this house is huge. Not as big as the Hello Neighbor 1 Act 3 house, but it's big. It is still big. That's the room that has the door with the lock on it, which I still don't know what to do. Hmm. 
None of these doors open. Strangely enough. Is there any door I can use to get through? Not that door, not the windows. Is that a ladder? No. I wonder what I can discover here. Back down here. In this game, there's a lot of candles and things like that. that open I can't un undo the lock so what do I do eh, I don't know what to do meant to get through. Oh. oh, like that. That wasn't the easiest thing ever, but it did work. From falling there, that didn't make sense because my hands were both floating. do brick but there's nothing on the other side it's mostly covered up can I jump through like hello neighbor one nope the graphics and sounds in this game is definitely a lot better than the first game And by first game, I mean, like, Hello Nero 1. What? What? That does not make sense. The crowbar just fears through. What the... How? This is hard to figure out. Like it's not Omega hard. I could probably figure it out eventually, but like it's harder than it looks.
This is um, pretty cool, but I mean the game. Oh, I can I don't know why I even tried that. There's no way that I would have fit through that window. Oh. Can I go through that hole maybe? Oh, it's back to this. I'm surprised I'm able to stand here. Oh. Huh. Lost my key. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I think. Oh, it's just grass and then I got up in stone? Oh, I died from the fall, I guess. That makes sense. Let's hope the bird man can't jump scare me from here. That would be bad, because then I wouldn't have been able to pick up that key. Wait, what? I thought you'd see it from the path. Why would it spawn me back here? And how, how is he getting me? Oh. He was there for a second. I saw his glove. Yep, there he is. Hopefully in the full version of the game they improve that. Because it's kind of funny just to be jump scared. And then you spawn in right next to the jump scare. So you see him sitting there. I couldn't tell if I saw him that time or not. Okay, this time I might be able to see him. I think I saw him. I saw him in my fears for a second. He sta he's just standing there. Okay, that's a funny glitch. This game is not as easy as it looks. Oh, and if you guys want to try this game out for yourself, then go ahead and buy it. It's actually a pretty good game, so if you can, then why not buy it and see what it's like for you. See how you enjoy the game. I enjoy it pretty well, so I imagine that you will too. Like everyone watching, not just a specific person. I still don't know what to do with that key door. Hmm. Is there any way that I can open that door with this key? Actually, maybe that key is to something else. Yeah, because it's not opening here. Huh. Well, at the end here, I've come to notice that I rank this game um, maybe around a 7 out of 10, and the other game is around a 9 out of 10, like Hello Neighbor 1. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And once you're subscribed, hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any future videos. And remember to comment, I'll always reply. And also, I hope you have a great and fantastic rest of your day. I'm Vince for Kids, and I'm out. Bye everyone.